it's Owen here from OTEC and today I will be taking a look at the Noctua NFF12 IPPC 3000 RPM PWM fan. Uh, that's a mouthful of a name. Uh, but yeah, yes, it isn't brown and tan. It is actually a black fan which looks really nice. And good job Noctua for making such a good looking fan compared to your old style. But yeah, let's take a look at the specifications first. As you can see, it is quite obvious that Noctua has made it faster and much more powerful than the standard uh, normal consumer variant which is awesome and is also useful for server environments but it also uses a better six-phase motor not to mention it also has a stronger polyamide construction compared to the standard consumer one and also another feature that they added for the industrial version is that this fan has IP52 uh, water and dust protection. It isn't waterproof so it isn't uh, submersible. For that you need the IP67 fan which is much more expensive and it only goes to 2000 RPM but I don't need that so I just got the 3000 RPM IP52 ones. And of course it has all the typical Noctua NFF12 features such as the focus slow frame which focuses the airflow into a column of air using the varying angular distance and vortex control notch guide vanes And it also has the Hetaperf type impeller, which is designed for pressure, and the AAO type frame, which features noise reducing, stepped in light design, inner surface microstructure, and anti vibration pads. It also has the metal SSO2 bearing, which is backed by a 6 year warranty by Noctua. That's about it for the features itself. Inside the package, you don't really get a lot on this uh, industrial version you just get the fan itself and some screws and the anti-vibration pads already stuck to the fan but Noctua was nice enough to send me some Chromax corners which are blue and they also sent some Chromax mounting kits which are also blue but I didn't ask for those so thank you Noctua for those For the anti-vibration mounts, you just pull it through the fan and pull the other side to your case and it's mounted. One thing I don't like about the Noctua fan is that the wires of the fan, although sleeved, aren't really sleeved till the end so you can still see the colored wires when they're coming into the fan hub and also just before the motherboard 4 pin header and also the sleeving itself isn't my favorite type of sleeving it's kind of that rubber sleeving so it doesn't really bend too well and it kinks if you bend it too much and it doesn't really look good when it kinks but yeah that's only my that's my only complaint of the looks of the fan this is a pressure optimized fan designed for radiators and heat sinks so what better way to test it than putting it in a radiator and pitting it against a pressure fan from Corsair which is the popular SP120 it comes with the H100 series and the, also the H80 series of coolers from Corsairs and I guess also the H60 
but this here my version is from HADI that I have and it's the L version which is the OEM version that doesn't have the anti-vibration pads but it has the same blade design and same motor but it runs faster at 2700 RPM compared to the retail ones 2300 RPM which gives it a larger RPM range that I can match with the Noctua. So I'll be testing the fans at 4 different RPMs and also at their max speeds to see the temperature results and noise results. I'll be testing it on my own PC on my RX480 which is water cooled by a Thermaltake Water 3.0C and I'll be loading the GPU with a mining application which is a much more stable uh, heat output than a benchmark like 3 d Mark or Valley. First, let's take a look at the thermal performance. Well, I bet you guys are just as surprised as me, because apparently the Corsair fan matched Noctua at every single RPM, except for 1500 RPM which could just be within margin of error really. But yeah, the only real performance advantage the Noctua has is it's 1 degree cooler at the maximum RPM. And I think it's just because it runs faster, but performance isn't the only thing that matters. So what about the acoustics of the fans? Let's take a look. So from the noise comparison, you might think, oh they're not that different in noise levels, but 
really when you hear it in real life the Noctua is much nicer to hear to the ear while the Corsair has a really loud motor hum which is just unpleasant to hear when the Noctua is just having some uh, wind noise passing through the blades and the guide vanes and I can really feel it when I use it my PC the first time on the same RPM it kind of feels it's quieter even though it's it might be measured as louder if you use an SPL meter but it really sounds quieter on a Noctua. Another advantage is that the Noctua has a much more better and more linear RPM curve from the PWM signal than the Corsair which sets a terrible 600 RPM limit at a 0% PWM. Another difference between the two fans is that you can really feel the Noctua spins a lot smoother due to the 6 phase motor as you can see that the normal Corsair fans with the 4 phase motor like most fans you can really see the bumps in the magnets when they go over the magnetic coils inside the motor while the Noctua is not really visible and the fan spins more freely and hence it is more vibration free when it's working and the Hetaperf impeller seems to be more dust repellent compared to the Corsair fan I've been running this fan for a few weeks now, hence why you see it's a little dusty, but it's just dusty on the leading edge, while the fan uh, surface area of the fan blades and the stators aren't really that dusty, as you can see. So that is it guys, it looks like Noctua's technologies and design of their fans didn't really contribute much to the raw performance at the same RPM as the Corsair fans. So either there really isn't much to improve to the formula of pressure fans or Corsair did a very good job designing their fans too. However, the Noctua is a quieter fan at the same RPM so you can run it faster at the same noise level netting you more performance. Also the fact that it has a higher top speed also means it performs better at maximum speed. So is it worth the high asking price? Well only you can answer that. But in my opinion, for my personal use, yes, yes it is. And to that, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video, and hope that it is useful in determining if you need to buy this fan or not. And if you want to see more of my video, please subscribe. And that's it. Thanks for watching.